What's up and welcome back to another video. I'm 7 Beats and today we're gonna create a modern Emma Piano beat in Apple Studio. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So this beat is inspired by one of the main Afrobeat artists. Let me know which track you think it is. So first I'm gonna adjust the BPM to 112, which is typical when it comes to Emma Piano. One of my favorite stars when it comes to Emma Piano is Direct Wave. And then I'm using my preset. So this Piano Electric One. And I'm gonna create this beat in C minor. So I'm just gonna draw in a C, 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 and a flat C. Then I'm gonna drag in the root notes. So I'm gonna start off with this A, A, D sharp. Then for example, use an F sharp and a G sharp, which already gives that emotional feeling. So we're gonna expand this melody a little bit more. So starting off with this chord, this one, F, C sharp, and G sharp. And let's add this C. Oh, we're adding in this A and F. We have to create something similar like this one. We're adding in this F sharp. We're adding in this A sharp and F sharp. And I'm using this D sharp and G sharp to create an upwards vibe at the end of the chord progression. So I've strummized this melody, so you can press option S. I use a strumizer and play around the velocity and the melody isn't beginning at the first bar. So I've used a delay, half a bar. And eventually this will work out when we're adding in all the drums. So we're now I'm gonna paste it into the arrangement so we get a feeling of how it sounds when adding the shaker loop. So I'm gonna use my Emma Piano sample pack volume one. And then I'm just dragging in shaker loop two and this one. Let's start off with a kick. This one, deep, simple kick. Use the paint function. So we're gonna add some percussions. So I'm gonna add conga, this one. And Emma Piano, I'm not following the typical Afrobeat kind of rhythm. Something like this. And then a triplet kind of rhythm. So I've randomized the velocity and it sounds like this. We're gonna add the second layer. So I'm adding this bongo. And for example, that one right here. Eventually we'll add some reverb, but right now I'm just gonna add some more elements. And just let's use one of my new packs, the Afrobeats producer kit. I'm gonna pick some natural toms. Uh, for example, we're gonna pick a bongo right here. This simple one. And then a djembe, this one. It took me a while to figure this out, but I think this one sounds great. I think I'm gonna remove this one. And then I'm gonna return to my Emma Piano sample pack and just get one of those typical snares. This one, really present one. For example, create something like this. And right now I'm gonna speed up the melody a little bit or make it sound like that. So I'm gonna add some cymbal at the open head. This one gave it kind of those 
housey vibes. And for example, because we're gonna create a rhythm like this, I'm gonna copy the kick pattern and move it half a bar to the right. The background. And maybe add a crash. This one sounds great. All right, now it's time to add some more layers. So I'm gonna use Purity, which is an awesome plugin when it comes to MA Piano presets. And I already know I'm gonna use a Woodwind. So I'm using this one, and I'm just gonna copy open head pattern into this one. And I'm just using an A sharp and shorten the notes. A little bit of mixing, adding some swing, 20%. Now I'm gonna add a random one morphine. So I'm gonna search for a lead. So we're gonna add in this crazy one, layer it with the purity synth. So that's also it. And right, now I'm gonna add a bass line. So I'm just gonna use a simple bass line from 3 Osk, just a simple sign. Copying the root notes, adjusting the volume. And right, now it's time to add a simple top lead, which keeps it really interesting. I'm gonna use Simple sign. Turn down the volume in advance. Sounds something like this. To, and then I'm using a D sharp. C again, following the same rhythm. A and G. And I'm adding those small notes in front, one forward step like this. Copying this one. So it sounds like this. All right, now it's time to add the lock drum. So I'm gonna use the DX10 and I'm selecting one of the presets from my sample pack, lock drum. Locked on presets and just drag it onto the plugin. Starting off at this note, turning up the volume to maximum. To D sharp, copy it again. To C sharp and again to G sharp. And add a note, for example, right here. So all the elements together sound like this. I'm gonna create an arrangement and guide you through the final project. So this is the final beat and I'm just gonna play the selected part of the arrangement. So I hope you enjoy it. So I added some more reverb to the toms. So create a bus. I just added this fruity reverb too. Typical FX and Emma Piano. Snare so coming in on lock drum. Also the synth for morphine. Bass line.
all the elements playing. So that's it when it comes to the final result. I hope you enjoyed it. And right now I'm gonna wrap up this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.